Hey there, bloomers and friends. It's Rev Kev coming to you again from Bloom Notes. It's great to be with you today. Some of you know I was sick last Sunday and wasn't in church, and I'm feeling much better now. First time ever in my years as a pastor that illness kept me out of church on a Sunday morning. But the really great thing is that, uh, you know, the bloomers and leadership all chipped in together and made things happen even when I wasn't there. Maybe it was even a little better. I don't know. I'm going to have to watch out. It is great this week to bring you some very, very good news. Uh, some might know that we applied last January for a grant from the Carpenter Foundation. We applied for a $20,000 grant to help us with operational expenses. And in this economy, we are delighted to know that we received half of that. Uh, got a check in the mail this week for $10,000 to help with our operational expenses. The key relationship building that we're supposed to do in order to be uh, to honor the integrity of that money is to be a healing presence and to bring wholeness within the gay and lesbian community as a religious organization. And so we will be working within that uh, realm and that money will help fund operational expenses in order to help us do that. I am uh, glad to also note that folks have uh, reported that it's very easy to sign up for online giving at the Bloom in the Desert uh, website. Just remember bloominthedesert.org, go to the participate, donate page, click the buttons, follow the instructions. It's very easy to use your credit card or to use your checking account in order to establish a regular giving or a one-time gift for any aspect of our missional opportunities or memorials or any of those kinds of things. I want to also thank the folks that have been showing up the last couple of weeks during the summer in this hot, hot weather for helping make sandwiches at the well in the desert. We know that uh, there are people who are less fortunate than us. It's really great that we can come together in Christian mission and reach out to folks uh, in this way. We continue to have that need on Monday mornings at 9 o'clock because of travels and because of schedules. Uh, it's just not always able to be the same group of people. So come on down and help out. As I've said before, if you think uh, that maybe there's some time on a Monday that you'd like to go help make sandwiches at the well, we'll let this next Monday be the one that you follow through on. Continue to receive offerings of canned meats for the food bank in Desert Hot Springs that we've been making special appeals for. So we're doing that for the next several weeks, so please be sure and remember to bring some canned meats with you when you come to church on Sunday. Thanks a lot. And I want to say also that I'm just thrilled to note that uh, this Sunday in worship, we will have special music from Charlie Creasy and Della Zimmer. I saw Charlie and Della do a, uh, a pre do, do, do a song, do an aria, at the 50th wedding anniversary of a gay couple that Mike and I went to a couple of months ago. And they were fantastic. And uh, it's just great that uh, Charlie was able to invite Della to come and be a part of Bloom this Sunday. So be sure and, and come and enjoy that special music. We know that Julie White is going to read the Hebrew scriptures actually for the last time for a while before, as she goes back to Hawaii pretty soon. Um, we know that uh, Vicki Matthews is going to read the gospel. Uh, Richard Bentley is going to be our worship leader. And our preacher this Sunday is going to be uh, the Reverend Marlene Pomeroy, who is the co-pastor of the First Congregational Church in Pasadena. Marlene comes to us very highly recommended. And this aspect of having guest preachers about every six weeks is something that your Pastor Parish team is putting into place in order for us to all stay fresh uh, over the long term. So you, we know that you really want to come and be sure and support Marlene and all the others that are putting together Sunday worship this week. As we always say, if, you can, if you're in town, be sure and join us. If you are not able to be with us on Sunday, please be with us in spirit. It'll be great to see you, and as always, be sure and bring a friend.